Howdy guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a counter update. So as you guys know, I was in the process of changing out my countertop. So if you want to hear um, the story from the beginning to the end and see the end result, please keep on watching. As you know, if you've been following me for a while, you saw my yellow countertops I had at my old apartment and how I use contact paper to update it to make it look more new, fresh, and modern. So since that time, we've now moved into our own house and there are a lot of house projects that are going on right now. So one of the first things I wanted to do was change the countertops out. So we had countertops that looked very outdated again. I don't know, it's just our luck. So they were brownish, they were dark. The kitchen was very cute, it was bright, has lots of windows. But I, you guys know me, I wanted a little something extra. So I did take you guys with me to Homeco, and Homeco is the place where we decided to pick out our countertops. I was recommended Homeco from a friend who uh, let me know that they have very affordable pricing when it comes to countertops. So I went in, there were three main countertops that I was stuck between, so I posted a poll on Instagram and had you guys help me out and vote. So I'm gonna be posting the poll and everything so you guys can see. The first one was a little too busy for me when I saw it laying down. The second one was very nice. It was white with little swivel marks of marble, but it just wasn't enough. And then the third one, the one that we decided to go with, had a little bit of like umph. I liked it. It wasn't too crazy and it wasn't too uh, plain. So I thought it was the perfect one. So the one that we picked out was the Calicutta Storm. So the way that they priced it was they priced it in slabs. So you go and you pick out your countertop and they come in nine feet slabs, nine by two. The one that was a, lot, a little busy, I believe that was 300 per slab. The one that wasn't too busy was about 250 per slab and the one that we decided to go with was 350 per slab. Depending on how big your countertop is, you'll need a few slabs. We needed three slabs, which guys, this is super affordable. Like countertops, as you know, really can range in prices. So I feel like we found a really, really good deal. Now, the only thing that was a little crazy is that we had to do the demo work ourselves. Yes, you heard me. We had to do the demo work ourselves, so it's just really um, nerve wracking. Because um, when I talked to the representative at Homeco, she said that they do install and they will deliver the slabs, but they do not do the demolition work. What that meant is that my boyfriend and I had to go into the kitchen and literally rip out our old countertops. And I was really nervous because of course I decided to YouTube everything and you have to be very careful when you're doing that work because you don't want to damage your uh, cabinets and cabinets are super expensive. So it was scary. I'm inserting clips so that you guys can see. It was intense, but we got it out. My boyfriend did uh, a lot of the work. I mean, he did all of the work, actually. I was there for moral support. It really didn't take him that long. Um, he just like kind of hammered it up and then he checked underneath the countertops to see if they were like, screwed down or whatever. So you check underneath the countertops first to check if there's any kind of screws or butterfly clips or whatever they're called. And then if they're not, he just kind of hammered them up and it was fine. So then the guys came and were super professional. Uh, it took them about uh, five hours, I think. It took them a long time because they had to actually cut the marble to the size, then they had to cut the plywood that goes under the marble, and then they had to install everything. So it was definitely a process, but definitely worth it. I personally would recommend Homeco because I definitely think it's affordable. Again, the one that we went with was the Calicutta marble insert a clip so that you guys can see how it looks so this is just one part of our kitchen renovation we're definitely doing more um, we want to do the floors but we're not sure what we want to do with the floors yet whether we want to make it just concrete and modern or go with a type of wood or whatever not sure but like I said, I wanted to take you guys through all the steps with me. I didn't want to make this video too long, so I was talking really fast. So if I miss something or you guys have a specific question, please feel free to leave it down below. I'll go ahead and link the company. They do have a website, so you can kind of have an idea of the types of stones they carry. 
Um, one good thing about them again is that if you don't use them to install, then you have to pick up your own slabs by yourself. And so that was kind of worrisome to me because we don't have like a super big uh, car, like a truck or anything. And it would have made me really nervous, you know, to drive it out here and if it broke. So it was just perfect to have them go and install. Oh, to install, they charge about $200 per slab to install. So again, that's really, really good. So for us to install it, it was only $600. And I had people quoting me with demolition about like 1,200 or more. So if you guys aren't nervous, I recommend you try doing the demo work yourself. Be careful with your cabinet. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll bring, I'll bring back the fashion content. I think next week I'll do a fashion video for you guys. Um, but if you guys are craving some of my fashion content, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I post regular fashion content on there. So anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.